Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another Christmas project share to share with you guys because I'm trying to work through a paper pad that I started and it's just like a never ending paper pad. So I've been trying to work through it. This is, I think, my second project I made with it. Actually, no, I think there's more because I think I made some card folios as well, but I made a whole album out of it. And now I made this album as well. So I will link the other one down below in the description box. Um, but let me show you guys a paper that I've been trying to work through. And I'm pretty much like very close to done, but not quite done yet. Um, this is the collection called Wrapped with Care by Recollections from Michaels. It was a hot buy at some point um, from 2020. Oh, this is pretty recent. Um, so this is some of the scraps that I have. And then there's a couple like full size sheets in here. Um, these ones I don't really know how to use. Like these are the ones that I don't know how to use. But the scraps, and this one I used on like a big, um, I've used this before on a big uh, like advent calendar that I made for my babe. Um, so I only use that other one sheet, but the rest of those I don't know how to use. But these scrappies, I still got to make something with this because these are still big enough to make like a little album with and whatnot. Maybe pull some like plaid papers from my stash as well. So that's why I have these on the side. But that is the collection that I used. And I also realized in my during my moving process that I have a ton of colored envelopes like reds and greens and bright pinks and oranges. And I have a ton of these colored envelopes and I never use them. So I was looking on, um, I asked Instagram if you guys have any ideas on how to use the envelopes or if you guys have any links to any like tutorials. And I forgot who sent it to me, but she sent me a tutorial from Faithful Designs by Christy. And that is the tutorial that I got for this album. And I'll have it linked down below in the description box down below as well. Um, but basically all I did was use envelopes, guys. The bases, the red is all envelopes with the exception of the cover that is paper from my stash but yeah so let's get started guys and i'll show you guys what it looks like in case you guys want to go make one too and i almost forgot to mention that this album is available in my etsy shop in case you guys want to purchase it so in the description box down below i will have the link to my etsy shop in the album section of my shop so you guys can check it out if you guys are interested so this cut apart on the front here says coming home for christmas i believe this was in the collection um, these flowers are from hobby lobby which i will also link down below for you guys i love these then I've got like some white glittery enamel dots here. I've got some zigzag stitching on the outside and regular stitching around the cut apart. I've even got a double seam binding closure. That's the first time I did a double. I saw Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy do it and I was like, ooh, let me try that. So I did a double um, seam binding closure on this album here. And the seam binding I get from My Scrap Cabin Shop. I just love her shop. She's always got so many different color options for all the different occasions and seasons and everything so I love it then on the side here I've got this spine and another zigzag stitch on the outside and the back is a little bit of paper piecing um, with my cut apart but I, I just I, I like to do paper piecing on the back instead of just like one paper um, it's been like a new thing for me um, so when you open this up and this gets a little complicated because it's double um, so I never know which two to pull but oh look we got it all right, so you open this up and this is what it looks like. Here, this is not a cut apart from the collection, but this says happy holidays and I do have this as like a little flip up. So you could add a couple of photos there. And then this is magnetized and that just flips open. So you have more space for photos there. Then these are all pocket pages and there's a ton in here. And they're, like I said, made of envelopes, guys. So get your envelopes out if you guys have a ton. And make this album i'm gonna have to make some more um so for this one this flips open this way and i just uh, matted the pages the same here like a continuous kind of thing and you could add tons of photos here and then there's a insert in there that looks like that i didn't mat the back side so that you could add photos and whatnot 
Then this flips this way. Here you have like a double page with pockets. And I got a ton of cut aparts in here. Um, so these are like to and from and for you. So you could use them on gifts. These two, this one's from the collection that says save till Christmas. And this one is from some other collection, like a Cartabella collection that says Merry Christmas. So just lots of space for all the things in here, guys. So I have those in those two pockets. And then this side is also another pocket. So another to and from tag, a regular tag that you could journal on and it's white on the back. And then this one says crafted with cheer. So that lives with this pocket. And then here you've got another tag that I just die cut out from some of the paper. And then this is another one from a Cartabella collection that says the magic of Christmas. And I just have those living in this top pocket here. And then there's another pull out insert here that looks like this and you could do whatever on the back side and it's got these gold foiled tabs that I loved making. All right, so that slides right back in there. Then the next page looks like this. I've got this double page here. I added a cut apart that says Merry and Bright. It is a flip up and then behind it, I just die cut another tag that you could journal on. So that'd be cute to journal on like about these two photos or about this page, whatever it is. Then another insert here that looks like that. I'm definitely gonna have to make some more of these guys. I have a ton more envelopes to use up. This side has two side kind of loading pockets. So here I've got another cut apart from a Cartabella collection that says Merry and Bright. Here I've got a tag that you could journal on the back. Then here I've got another one from a Cartabella collection that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. That just lives in there. This cut apart made with holiday spirit. And then this glittery tag. I was also trying to use up some six by six paper scraps I had. So that's why that one is so bright, but it's also so fun. And then here you've got another insert with those Christmas trees. And where am I? Oops, wrong page. Here we go. So that goes in here. Then this one, you've got another one of these cut aparts, not from this collection. I'm not sure which one this is from, but this isn't Cartabella either. It might be Echo Park. Um, and then this flips open like that. Plenty of space for your photos. And you've got another tag tuck spot right there. Then you've got another pullout, just like so, that you could fit plenty of photos in here. And then here you've got um, angled pockets. So you've got a special holiday treat for you and another glittery fun tag. And then this one looks like this with like a foil tag and another to and from. And this paper is usually one of those like full sheet papers. You can see there was a border around it, like all the way around. But I just kept the border on the bottom and I cut up the snowman to kind of like fit the page and be like one continuous kind of thing because otherwise I didn't know how to use it, but that worked out. So there we go. There's my cute little like snowman right there. And then we've got another insert right there that just lives in this envelope here. And then the back page and this flips out this way, another kind of double twin page. And then the very back here, um, this says December 25th. This flips open for more photos. I left this part open so you can add, for example, you could add um, a tag or something behind there using from like one of these other pages, like you could add any of those behind there. And then this flips open to the side and it kind of just mirrors that first front page. So you got the Christmas trees and the green and that is the whole um, Christmas album. So there's a ton of pages in here, as you guys could see, and plenty of space for photos. And all I did mainly was use envelopes with some patterned paper and I love how it turned out. So again, this is available in my Etsy shop in case you guys are interested. Link for the tutorial is down below the one that I followed and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.